Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Acesse suprememastertv.com barra schedule. It's just showing you this life is really funny. Yeah? People value more visa paper than looking into others' eyes and seeing what's in their sincerity, you know, everything. They're trained just to cow money <laughs> and even ignore the other side of human. It's more valuable. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olafsis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Salam means hello in Turkmen. Nice to see you, good-hearted viewers. My name is Galina. The remarkable people of Turkmenistan admire your dedication to speak and think positively. Turkmenistan is a country in Central Asia, bordered by the Caspian Sea and largely covered by the Karakum Desert. The country's mightiest Amu Darya forms the border with Uzbekistan, while the Kobe Dog mountain range forms Turkmenistan's south-central border with Iran. The desert is home to a vast array of plants and animal species, such as foxes, wildcats, gazelles, and tortoise, while the mountains support animal species such as goats, cheetahs, lynx, snow leopards, and porcupines. The Caspian Sea coast provides important nesting sites and winter homes to vast flocks of migratory birds such as ducks, geese, and swans. In the Tugai, dense floodplain forests reside the jackals, wild boars, various species of birds, and the rare pink deer. Turkmenistan has three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Kunya Argent, the former capital of the medieval Khorasan Shah Empire, the Nisa ancient city, the first Parthian Empire capital, and the State Historical and Cultural Park, Ancient Merv. This unique and ancient country has some of the world's most incredible pieces of architecture. The capital city, Ashgabat, was recently awarded by the Guinness Book of World Records for having the highest density of white marble-clad buildings in the world. The majority of Turkmenistan's people are Muslim, primarily Sunni. The Turkmen are warm and easygoing people who are proud of their country's spectacular architecture, great traditions, and natural beauty. 
We are happy to introduce Turkmenistan's natural beauty to you, radiant viewers. We pray to Allah to shower you with abundant blessings and spiritual growth. For over three decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within and to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worship World Honor One Shakyamuni Buddha, the worship Son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated Master and Philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated Master and Philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the first Sikh Guru Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. She is an extraordinary living example of compassion, regularly sending material and financial assistance as well as love to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy, in or any good cause over the years, as a humble vessel for here's compassion and love toward here's precious children. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine loving ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, and individuals as well as many awards from them, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahabir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in blissful harmony. Her initiative to spread the vegan trend are diverse and have included alternative living flyer distribution the International Vegan Restaurants Loving Hut, Vegan Food Product Companies, Vegan Fur Products, Supreme Master Television, as well as regularly speaking to influential government and media leaders and participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Over the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide, from the Americas to Africa, from Europe to Oceania, and held hundreds of discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled The Fatal Obstacle, Part 1 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 2, 2005, in Hungary. Except the big pizza that you can wrap yourself around. <laughs> you enjoy the pizza? Yes. Oh, it's good. Thanks for having a nice place. Yeah? All of us, you all contribute a little bit to this center, right? You did. Many of you did. It's a good thing to do. Yeah? And you never know when you need it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Every time I have to go out to the city, I feel like I'm going on safari, you know, because he's so used to his role he flies. <laughs> he can close his eyes and just fly over the eyes, you know? Yeah. But I look around, it's all water, icy water, and I wonder what's, what will happen you know? <laughs> if his flying license is not so good. <laughs> you enjoy the pizza, huh? Yeah, I haven't. It's good? Yes. Honest? Yeah? Honest? Yes. Hey, new way. So congratulations, you come in the right place. We have, we have candy, we have pizza, we have <laughs> all kind of good stuff going on. Yeah, we are goodies. <laughs> Anybody else? Are new? There, there. <laughs> Refuse my candy? <laughs> Anyone else? New? No, but <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> Not new, but like to have, huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> there. You like children. Love pizza, candy, good. What kind of monks are you, huh? <laughs> Sound like monkey to me. There. Share, okay, share, share. Protect the lens. <laughs> oh, the candy in Hungary is pretty hard. Oh, the machine. Oh, sorry about that. 
<laughs> yeah, see? When you give something, you profit a little bit, huh? Without knowing, huh? This is a point, you see? Extra point, yeah. Ah, by the way, they also gave me a pizza in there, bigger than myself. <laughs> I was thinking I can rub myself in it and sleep all night. It should be pretty warm, you know. A lot of fat, keep it warm. <laughs> when I don't have any, it helps, you know. There. I can't go that far. Go. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry I didn't see you today. Been busy. You know what would they call the money here in Hungary? Foreign. 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 That's, that's what it was. I went to the bank and I said, you want to open an, a foreign account? I said, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I thought they look at my passport. I'm foreigner. Fine, foreign account. Yes, yes, of course. And later I said, can you pay, can you pay like 10,000 foreign, foreign? I say, uh, well, I don't have 10, yeah, 10,000 dollar, okay? He said, no, 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 foreign, foreign. Your foreign account, no? Why you pay dollars? I say, okay, I have euros. No, you say you open a foreign account. I say, yeah. <laughs> This is the only foreign money I have. <laughs> but uh, what kind of foreign money you want? I, I can go home and ask. <laughs> you know, we have all kind of foreigners, friends. Maybe I can borrow some. I thought, what kind of bank who keep asking for foreign money? You know. <laughs> and then. So we didn't understand each other fine. Okay, she took she took my euros and go there and change and give me a lot back. I say I thought you you want ten thousand some foreign stuff. Say no no this is enough. She want only the ten thousand foreigns whatever that is. <laughs> oh it was very funny. Yeah. Foreign account <laughs> because everywhere every country they also ask if you want to open, you know, like they have a foreign account for foreign. <laughs> so I'm used to this, because I'm always foreign. <laughs> I'm always in foreign land. I'm always a foreign. <laughs> so I'm used to it. I took it for granted that she won a foreign account. I say, sure, sure, always. <laughs> and then, uh, because they uh, doesn't speak English, the girl don't speak, doesn't speak that good English either, so we just have a good laugh later on, you know? And uh, tell you some secret, the chocolate really makes people smile. <laughs> <laughs> the bank is always very safe. Yes. Foreign account. <laughs> and later, you know, they make me work and then I feel sorry for them. Because <laughs> a lot of paper, a lot of running, a lot of waiting, oh, waste a lot of time and energy. I came up, I sit in the car, I feel like. Yeah, like a noodle, and you cook more than 20 minutes. You know? <laughs> noodle, you cook only five, but if you cook 20, it, it feels like what I feel <laughs> this evening when I came home. Yeah, okay. It's nice to see you. I, I was in a rush to come home and see you also, but a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Foreign. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like foreign, you know? Open a foreign account. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody all right? The new arrival okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice to see you again. You look good. Yeah. I have to for the camera, but why do you? <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Good enough, good enough. You have enough, yeah? Whatever, yeah, share it. You you like the pizza? Do you eat enough? I, what, too much? 
the Vietnamese and the Chinese, you feel something good about the pizza? Yeah. Wow. If you live in uh, Europe, you're used to it already, right? So it doesn't matter. I'm the only one that don't like pizza around here, I guess. Only two, three times in my whole life I enjoy pizzas. <laughs> Mostly they don't taste anything. I don't know, I guess I'm like dog, you know? <laughs> the dog, <laughs> you know, the Georgia feed them whatever every day, they get used to it, you know? And when I feel, oh, goodness, it's good, give the dog some, and they just, you know, they taste a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like us, no? Whatever we are accustomed to, we just love it, huh? Bad or good, we don't, we don't, we don't care. I was in Malaysia, and I saw a village, not really a village, but uh, a big, uh, big area of sh very shabby, poor houses made up of maybe mud or some katong or some uh, metal sheet or something like that. Huh? Very shabby kind of area. Uh, it's not good. And next to it is a nice, uh, like apartment buildings. You know, new and good and you know. Look very decent, you know, like normal apartment, and it's on the, the opposite of the street, you know, next to it. And then they told me that because those apartments are empty, 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 nice, big, clean, new, empty. And they told me that the government made it for those people on the opposite side of the street, but they don't feel like moving up there. <laughs> yeah cheap and everything ready, but they don't feel like moving. They, they prefer their squat area, no? This will really make you run, eh? And even I want a simple life, just sit in a cave and do nothing. Still cannot eat once a day or don't even eat or don't even drink because the water becomes ice, I don't even care. I still cannot do that. You know, it's incredible, incredible. If something always happens, I always have to go out up to now, eh? If I don't do anything, it's fine. If I begin to let people come see me or anything, then it's not too good. The Maya becomes jealous because he's lonely now, you know? Everybody run to us and run up over there. And he's sitting there, <laughs> growing his bed and boredom at the same time. Eating pizza and thinking what to do next. <laughs> if he even have a pizza to eat, because everybody run away from him already. <laughs> but he could order, you know, by credit card, deliver <laughs> to help. <laughs> you know, you know what kind. Of <laughs> you know what kind of pizza. The devil would order to help. What kind? Tell me, tell me. One hundred euros, quick. Uh, one at a time. Raise hand. Talk. Very spicy. Very spicy. Next. Ah, uh, pepperoni. You think the same? Anybody has a different idea? What kind of? Devils. Devils pizza. That's the thing. With the horn on it. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried, but probably. <laughs> oh, for himself? It's so typical, eh? Of a uh, devil. Yeah, what name? Oh, what kind of pizza he would order? Salamanya? With the garlic? Yes. Ah, oh, alaya. Ah, oh, okay, sava. Okay, what next? Frozen pizza? It's too hot now without burn. Yeah, that's good. Frozen pizza. Yeah, one hundred dollars. All the topping. He already got the price. I give you hundred euro later. Frozen pizza. Yeah. Why don't you even know about that? But you cheat. You have second time. It normally you should not. Just everybody have one only, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you're talking, talking. And at the end, you 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 got it. That's not right. You get fifty euro only. 
I'm not stupid. <laughs> All right. Never mind. I give you hundred euros. Since since you have just developed a little IQ for a change, I'm so pleased. <laughs> Any questions, newcomer? No, no, no. No, no. Yeah. yeah. Good, huh? Oh, dear. Life is so complicated, hey? And all we want to do is live simple. <laughs> Mostly when you go to the bank, they think you want to borrow money, you know? So uh, if you say you open the bank account, they, they don't think that you put too much, you know? Yeah. They say, oh, you can put as much as you want, even one dollar. You are a customer. I said, that is the bank. The bank is like that. You put one penny, it's your business, your problem, you save it, no? The bank is supposed to keep your money, invest it for you. You don't need to have a lot of money. If you have a lot of money already, maybe you don't even need the bank, right? So it's, it's some bank, a really some real bank. <laughs> so having money is not always simple, eh? Yeah. Well, today is similar. I go to different banks. It doesn't look like they're very interested to talk, you know? So sometimes we give, give chocolate and then it goes smoother, you know, more sweet. It's not much, but people surprise, you know? feel that we are very nice, so it's okay. It, got, it goes better. It goes better. Do you have any problem too much outside with the bank? No? Yes? Sometimes, eh? I know some person, he owns a restaurant and he can guarantee for his employees to go in certain bank, his bank, eh? also on the same bank, to borrow something and buy some stuff due to his guarantee because the owner, he guaranteed that he paid them so much per year and so it's no problem. But when he comes to borrow something from the bank, oh, they really treat him like dirt. He came home almost crying. Just he want to borrow like twenty-five thousand dollars. That's it, euros, just to buy a car. It's not like big deal. And then uh, first they say okay, okay, they don't check anything, and later he come back and say, oh, you never, I never know. He say you can look at the last year income, you know, and be okay. But see, they say you never know. Maybe you go bankrupt next week. <laughs> oh God! Not only don't lend you money, curse you. <laughs> you understand? Wish you ill. Horrible. All right. Enough of gossiping. I probably lose uh, 200 points or something. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we say as well. Maybe one point each, huh? You also willing to listen. <laughs> Accomplice, you know? <laughs> it takes two to tango. No, I can't just sit here talking to my knee. <laughs> on oh, my elbow, no? All right. Yeah, it's just funny. I don't even hate them or anything. It's just showing you this life is really funny. Yeah? People value more piece of paper than looking into others' eyes and seeing what's in their sincerity, you know? Everything. They're trained just to cow money <laughs> and even ignore the other side of human. More valuable. Hmm? Or even the, the restaurant owner, he was a nice guy, you know? Yeah, it's not like he doesn't look like a criminal or a robber or something, and he has a restaurant there also, you know, but it's, it's like that. Yeah. If you have a lot of money, then what for you go there and loan, you know? So the bank is just to loan money to people because they have it from everybody else, so they can lend it to everybody else, you know? Yeah, it's very difficult, but because he's a foreigner, you know, and uh, he doesn't have any possession there, just rented house, and even restaurant is rented, you know, all the furniture is his, but just renting. Or maybe furniture also rented, I don't know. I never asked. Uh, but if you have house there, eh, you can use your house to mortgage other things. But that's life, you know, you have to prove that you have money, otherwise you're nothing. It's incredible how people value a few pieces of paper more than a human spirit. Yeah. And then looking down upon people and then I would say put people down and things like that. 
a bank manager is nothing. Even the owner of the bank is nothing. They borrow money from everybody else, put it in their bank, they invest it. So nobody owns the bank. Understand? And let alone a manager, he's just managing everybody's money. He might not even see the money, it's all the employees that cow and take care and everything. He's abuse his position. As if he owns billions of dollars. If he does, I might excuse. Yeah? I might think, okay, he has money and he thinks I don't I look like a millionaire, fine, I forgive him. But he's just a manager of the bank. So they, they choose the wrong personnel all the time. Sometimes you get to a high position because you know the owner, you know the other high, highly positioned person, or big shot, something, is not necessarily you qualify. But, um, a couple of the banks that I deal with, you know, the managers used to be baker or cooks or whatever, yeah. <laughs> But they happen to speak Spanish or German or English, you know, at least two languages, and you find two or three languages, then you accept it. And I say, but why? And he said that because the bank say it is easier for them to train him in financial than to train him in language. Can you imagine? So can you imagine how easy it is just to sit there and be a manager? And he's a manager. I used to bake the bread, that's it. <laughs> Don't you think twice when you give your money to, <laughs> to bake like that? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, it's nothing really. We are smart. Even if we don't have money today, we could earn it tomorrow, right? Mini, mini, mini. This is too short again. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep doing until the right one for you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Nobody say anything. Huh? You say anything against my game now, huh? <laughs> I like the right one. <laughs> Inspiring viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Fatal Obstacle, Part 1 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is from the Book of Mormon, excerpts from the Book of Moroni, chapters 1 to 7, part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you receive the highest blessings of the universe. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.